I come from a lot, long line of Dukabors. Both my parents were uh, Dukabors. My grandfather came over on one of the first ships from Russia in 1898. And they first settled in Manitoba. Later on, they were offered land in the Cowley area. Now my mother's grandparents came around the same time. Anastasia is a Dukabor community uh, in between Arrowwood and um, Milo, and that's where my mother lived and went to school there, and she did work for Anastasia. The reason our families came and many other families, it was to avoid persecution in Russia. They were asked to go to war and they refused to go to war. They burned all their arm, arms, and um, when they came to Canada, they were told that they wouldn't have to fight. and. Uh, when they first settled, they settled in colonies. Dukabors do not eat meat, so it was all mostly vegetables and milk and butter and all the rest of it. Borscht is one of our staples. I know I never ate meat until I was in grade two, and the first thing I ever tasted was liver. I've never eaten liver since. <laughs> Sunday was always meeting day, and before they had a, a, we didn't call them churches, we called them prayer homes. They, once they built the prayer homes, they met there, and afterwards everybody had the community meal. Yeah, borscht was always served at the community meal. It was always served at a wedding. It was always served at a funeral. It just seemed to be one of the main staples. You have to have homemade bread to eat with borscht. Always lots of butter and cream. My grandmother, whenever we had a, a funeral or a big do like that, my grandmother would sit and make three or four big kettles of borscht to feed everybody. Our vegetable garden had everything imaginable in it. The first time I ever made borscht, I used to watch my mother make it and help her peel potatoes and things. But we got up one morning and mom says, well, we're going to weed potatoes. And at that point in time, we built, we had potatoes like acres of them. And then we, that's what we sold. She says, well, we've got to go hill those potatoes. And I said, I'm not going. She said, okay, if you're staying home, then you have to make the borscht. So they were all gone. I was at home by myself and I made it and they ate it. So I guess it was all right. Now I've been making it ever since then. My family likes it. A lot of my friends like it. And um, the, the, the borscht that I made is our family version. Other people put different things in it. My daughter was never liked borscht, but my son likes it and he makes it all the time. One of the big celebrations of, of that the, my family and the rest of the people have done is St. Peter's Day, and that is the day that they all burnt the, their guns and arms and everything in Russia, and that's June the 29th. And that is still one of the days that we do all get together and celebrate. They come from Calgary and all over to to uh, Lundbright to celebrate that day. Happy 150th Canada! Canada.